Uh, industry 4.0, the, uh, the fourth industrial revolution is absolutely critical to, to that journey, to help those customers uh, get their products to market um, in the best possible way. So the, the level of connectivity, the level of integration that's required now in the most efficient factories is, uh, um, is the only way in which we can deliver real value to those customers. We leverage um, a delivery capacity um, that, is, uh, that, is, that is cited where the best cost resources are. So we have 8,500 people globally, 6,000 people, uh, 6, people in India. But the only way that we're going to deliver real value to a customer in, say, uh, mainland Europe is by having a substantial team facing off directly to that customer, speaking the language that they speak and really understanding their products their, their, and their processes. So we think that that's genuinely unique. A lot of people have, uh, 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 have capabilities, but they're geographically dispersed and they don't necessarily have the, the, the combination of customer intimacy uh, and global scale that we have. So we are behind uh, many leading brands um, that you will see driving around um, on the streets here, but you know, possibly even in this, uh, in this little space. Um, and we, uh, we take on engineering projects um, for, for, those for those companies. Um, they, uh, uh, there's a shortage of engineers in Europe and in North America, um, and, and we give those companies access to, to engineers globally. We make them more competitive by delivering cost-effective solutions. But many, uh, many of the leading uh, automotive companies that, that you can think of have, got, uh, have outsourced programs of work to Tata Technologies. But not only that, um, not just the programs itself, but coming back to the in Industry 4.0, the fourth industrial revolution, we're also helping those customers um, drive uh, the digitization of their factories and, and uh, using the most efficient uh, manufacturing techniques to, to increase productivity and, uh, um, and maintain uptime in the factories and really just make the, the factories as efficient as possible. The aerospace industry has got a fantastic order book. Huge, uh, huge number of aircraft um, that are being planned at the moment. Uh, but what, what the aerospace industry doesn't want to do is invest in uh, uh, new capital, uh, new plants to, to actually increase the throughput. So what we've been able to do is take uh, actually automotive technology and help aerospace companies increase throughput without increasing their capital expenditure. So uh, there are a couple of examples. Um, hopefully we'll be able to reference them in the press in the near future whereby we're, uh, we're, we're increasing efficiencies between 10 to 15 percent through existing um, capital infrastructure. I don't think that they've had the automation challenges that, that, that automotive have had um, and I think that there's a lot that can be learned in that transfer. I'll give you a, a, a reciprocal learning. Automotive is all about lightweighting at the moment, taking weight out of the vehicle. Of course the aerospace industry has been involved in lightweighting for decades so that's a, a little bit of technology flowing in the other direction.